Hi everybody, it's MJ from My Paper Journey. Uh, welcome to my channel. I'm here with a quick share. I finally, um, I finished this last night. My book pages, um, folio slash journal. And I just wanted to do a quick share. And um, since there wasn't a whole lot more that I needed to get done, so I just thought I'd go ahead and finish it off camera and then show the, uh, the final uh, through a flip um, through on it. So I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And um, so let's get started. I went ahead and I added, um, this is just uh, cotton scraps, uh, uh, strips of fabric that I went ahead and cut and I distressed it to vintage it up a bit <clears throat> sorry my allergies are acting up so and i went ahead and added this cute uh it's a pen with the uh, uh butterfly and some beads and some feathers white feathers there so um so I'll take this off and it's a double string just to make it a little bit fuller. And in the front, I did say I wanted to add a little embellishment, and that's exactly what I did. I just put some lace and the butter, and then I I glued on a uh, Fussy Cut a Butterfly because the picture of this gorgeous little girl in the collaging that Steph did on her digitals is, you know, it, it had a lot of going, and it was so pretty all on its own it didn't really need any other embellishment so this is all i added and as you see it's a little chunky um so i'll go ahead and open it and on the on the far left here um when we did the um the belly band i added um this is an envelope. I was debating whether to attach it to the signature. Actually, I was thinking of attaching it as a flip, but I, you know, as a flip on top, but I didn't. So I just went ahead and kept it the way it is. And oh, I said I was going to put a stamp there and I forgot. Um, so. What it is, I just went ahead and added a few, a couple of pages in here so that she can journal. And then I added this, these um, four corner tabs there for a picture. So she can add a picture there. And then this can be used for journaling or another picture. And I am adding, including extra uh, picture corners there. So that's what I did with this envelope. And it is some cardstock. <clears throat> not heavy heavy cardstock but it's you know cardstock sturdy enough so that goes in here on this belly band and I added the signature it's a little chunky and so I used the same um, trim that I used to bind the the little the trifold I used that and I put uh, Velcro tabs on it and then I did reinforce the edge the ends of the the ribbon I um, fold the ribbon in to give it more uh, stability on both ends and then I didn't um, and I placed the ribbon just uh, enough to go over the signature but um, <clears throat> not like super uh, tight. So she has room if she wants to add more stuff in there. Because the ephemera that I added in there, um, uh, she's going to pu eventually pull it out because she'll be able to use it on other projects that, that she may do. So I went ahead and used a little cute bird that I, that I had left. I think that was part of the front cover. Or I can't remember what part did I use. Oh, I don't know. But So I went ahead and, and there was enough for me to put on this as part of the signature. 
So I just, um, and I had to keep the embellishments in here very simple because, um, as you see, it's already like chunky and then, um, yeah, because it was just getting a little bit too chunky. And I just did very simple embellishment. I think this is a tuck spot right here. It's a tuck spot. And then I just had a, a scrap piece of a doily, so I just uh, applied it to the page. Um, and then I just put these, um, they're like, they're not, they're stickers. They're not, um, and I forget where I got these. They're not from um, uh, your creative studio. These are just uh, stickers that I purchased, and I really don't remember where I got them. But um, I, what I used for embellishing um, were the stickers and a few um, of Tim Holtz. Um, I forget the name of the package. I threw it away, so I don't remember. But you know the little fussy cutting vintage. Um, clip parts of ephemera and this is part of the the digital kit so i turned that into a tuck spot <clears throat> i had a scrap piece of that um trim so i went ahead and glued it on there i was trying to keep all the embellishments you know just flat and here i just put a little piece from my scraps that i have of lace here it's a cotton uh, Battenberg actually a piece of Battenberg lays there and I just put a little flat back pearl there and then here's the tuck spot this is part of the Tim Holtz uh, vintage ephemera I forget uh, I think that's what he calls it but that's what I'm calling it so it's a tuck spot and this is like a ledger paper that I have and some music page Pages, and then here's a sticker and just a little bit of lace. Like I said, I kept everything rather simple. And then here's a, a doily. It was white. I just stained it a little bit with that distress ink. <clears throat> and here is a. Uh, it's the uh, faux memo. Faux memo. Um, this is the see-through, the clear, uh, it prints, it, it's, um, that prints, I don't know where it's at, but, um, it kind of like, you know, the, the prints are receipts, like when you go to the grocery shop, uh, you shop or anywhere, the, the, I forget what you call that, but anyways, um, it does last. It's not like the receipts when you get from the stores that eventually in time they uh, they fade. Um, because I printed this about two years ago. And there was one that I printed and I wish I could have it to show you. But I thought, oh, well, I'm going to laminate it. It was a picture of my niece, Elena. Hi, Elena and Alejandro. Hi, Papa. Um that I laminated and then um well with heat it's supposed to darken it and uh, you know the laminator it gets really hot um it did darken the picture but not where you couldn't see the picture at all so which means that they do last quite a long time because after the fact I realized, oh my gosh, that's heat. It's going to, the picture's going to come out all black, but it didn't. You can still see the picture. Um, but this is plastic see-through, as you can see. And what I did, um, well, let me show you what it looks like before. Um, I have my little box here. of. Uh, let me show you an example if I have one. Oh, I know. I have. I put some in there for her, so because um, I'm giving her some of those that I have. So I'll show you right now when we get there. But anyway, so I just did. I got my distresser and I just went over it to um, make it look vintage. So that's what I did, and uh, I printed it off my phone, so you're able to link it, you know, with your phone. And I just added some little trim, and um, this is um, from the Tim Holtz uh, 
vintage ephemera. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. Oh. And this is just a scrap. I didn't want to throw it away. And I and in, I do like the look of different size of papers. So as you can see, they're not all even. So I kind of like that. And then this is a little die cut that I had. That I have. But, um, and, and this is a sticker that I put on there. And then a piece of that same trim. And uh, these are just little ephemeras. And I have a butterfly stamp there. But um, the, she can pull these out and use them with, uh, with her um, projects. So, or she can leave them in here if she wants to. But the whole point was not just the, uh, from the folio journal, but I'm gifting her, you know, ephemera. So, okay. So, like I said, really simple here. And then here she can insert something. It's, um, and I didn't put anything there. <clears throat> and then on this page, I put a strip of paper. I don't know if you can see it. Because it, it, the page tore. So I just kind of mend it with a strip of um, paper. And then I put a little bit of the, uh, I don't know, kind of little see-through fabric there and then that scrap that I had in my little box and then I put a sticker here and a two little piece of uh, lace there and then here I put um, one of the tabs the kit only has three tabs so I I use all three tabs the first one if you remember I put it on the front and then here's some Battenberg lace and then um, more of that Tim Holtz um, uh, vintage ephemera there. And then here had a vintage button card. And that's the way it was. Um, my aunt gave me the bag of lace and all that. That was in there. So I went ahead and used it and it was like that. It was, I guess, whoever had it before used some of the buttons and then just cut off a piece Um of the paper but this is oh here if we go and then it was used to be 29 cents and then some of that tim holtz uh, vintage ephemera and here is um what um what they look like it's all in black and white and here if you peel it see it's kind of sheer and then you apply it on that page and it, uh, it's see-through a little bit, you know. So that's what it looks like. And you print those. And it's fun, you know. Cause you, and then there's different papers. You can do it on white. You can do it on different color papers or uh, sticker paper. Um, the see-through, which is, it's plastic-based. So it's durable. <clears throat> and here, Inside the bag that my aunt gave me had the little uh, price tag of a dollar. So I used that with uh, the sticker and some of the Tim Holtz ephemera. And then here are more of those uh, from the digital kit that I put there that she can use with other projects. Or she wants to embellish this some more. And then this is part of the digital kit as well. And here I put more of those that I was telling you that I'm giving her that I and um, you know she can cut them whatever size I, this is how when I pulled it out of the machine I just you know cut it out so um, she can do um, she can trim up most of it off if she wants to or, or use it as like that put a paper clip here because <clears throat> oh my goodness I hate that I'm sorry guys and then just a little bit of embellishment and a little fussy cut there and then I put a um, 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 not mother of pearl but it's a the shell abalone shell uh, button and I 
And here I put a little um, metal uh, butterfly and some Battenberg uh, lace. And then this is more of the uh, ephemera that I'm sharing with her. These are the stickers that I use. Some give I have extras I'm giving her. And then this is part of the kit as well, the digital. So I put it there. Oh, I'm not sure that that's part of the digital kit. I don't remember. But here I have a tuck spot. I think I'll put that there. I think I meant to do that and I was waiting for that to dry and I left it in here. And this is just a ephemera that she can use. And then here I put... Um, this is part of some that I bought from Carol, uh, Caroline Crabtree. And I just used this part that she stamped on the uh, cotton... Um, I don't know what kind of fabric it is. It's kind of, it frays a lot, which, you know, I like that. And then this is coffee stain paper that I, that I stained. And I don't even remember what I used to get this effect because, um, there was one time that I did a lot of uh, coffee staining paper and, and I'm almost out of all the projects that I've done. Um, I still have some, but I'm almost out. I'm going to have to do some more. And I don't remember what I used to get that effect, but it's pretty cool, huh? And here's one of those postcards. This is not part of the kit. So I use a sticker here and a little bit of that lace. And this is... And then I just put glued on a scrap of the paper that I didn't get to use of the previous video that I made a mistake. <laughs> so I went ahead and put it to good use. So I used it uh, to bind this postcard and so she can write here journal on it and then here's a piece of that uh, sticker that I use and then I use the other piece somewhere else in the in the book <coughs> and just scrap of lace and here I use another of those stickers and again I did the distress over it to uh, antique it so it just flips open Put a little butterfly and a little scrap piece of lace. Let me see if I have my um, my little cup that has all my lace. Oh, I put it somewhere. But there's just little scraps. So even though you think that um, a little piece, this is like an inch, that you think it's not going, you know, you're not going to use it for anything, save it. Because, you know, you can use it for small projects like this. Oh, here's the other piece of that sticker. I put it there. And then 1908, which is the name of the digital uh, that I that I used on this project for this folio that I got from Steph. With, junk with Steph. <clears throat> so that's part of the digital kit because that's the name of the digi digital kit, 1908. Some more paper, doily, and then that's just Tim Holtz, and that's just a flower that I that I paper punched. Some more Tim Holtz uh, ephemera there. That's just fussy cutting that I already had with a piece of lace. This this Tim Holtz. This is the um, the stickers that I use, and this is a journaling card from the kit. Again, it's a sticker. And this is just a piece of the uh, ledger that I trim off. So I use, used it for, uh, where is it at? To collage, to do a little collage there and the sticker and little flower. Like I said, I kept it really, really simple. And I'll close this up. that and then the inside put all the one two three pockets i just filled it up with all kinds of ephemera from the kit so it's a beautiful digital kit i love these things and more of the ephemera from the kit and then this tag here is one that i created 
And it says, a strong soul shines after every storm. So this one is my own doing. <clears throat> and then this is also... Um, and then these were meant to be bigger. I think they meant to be belly bands. But um, when when I printed her um, the kit, the page was landscape instead of uh, photo. And so I didn't pay attention. So I just went ahead and printed the digital a uh, few pages. And I realized they were a lot smaller than what I thought they would be. And so which worked out okay it was a, a happy mistake because then the tags would have been like super big and then it was just perfect for this size of folio that i created so if you get the um if you do purchase the the, the kit um make sure you turn the your the digital uh, uh portrait style instead of the landscape and then in the center, I created this pocket and I purposely crunched it up to make it look, uh, I don't know, to give it more dimension instead of just a, a flat uh, pocket. And so um, I added this safety pin that's been antiqued. I bought them like that. They're painted. They're not, uh, they're not... Um, Oh, I forget what the word is. But anyways, I put a little charm here, heart, and a little uh, lace embroidered flower there. And then this, I have filled it up with uh, ephemeras. Some from the kit and some not from other stuff. And this is from the kit that I didn't get to use a pocket. And it's already scored, so it's ready for her to use. She can distress it if she wants to. This is... um. I got these from Maddie from her life sales that she has on Saturday. It's a postcard with a gentleman, vintage gentleman, and the bike. That's not a very old bike, but oh well. So it's like a huge postage card, uh, postcard or stamp slash postcard. And then here are some more of those. Uh, photo corners that I'm giving her and then I got these um, playing cards from Maddie and her sales and the cute kitty there and then this is part of the digital kit and then they're already all distressed for her to use so that filled it up and, oh yeah and I I love the background. I know it, it got covered up, but I love this page. It's so pretty. Put this back in there. And here's the side pocket. And I went ahead and I stamped the word hope. I couldn't find, uh, well, I did find it, but it, it was uh, dried up. My permanent ink stamp um, pad, ink pad. So... I use the my the distress ink and when with the glue I don't know if you can see it kind of um, it ran the ink a little bit but it was a happy mistake because it looks it looks uh, old like you know so oh, okay so I just uh, that was just a piece of um, cotton scrap that I had and some scrap lace and a little uh, the Tim Holtz which I forgot to distress. And here is more uh, the digital from the digital from the kit. This is another of those cards. So cute. I like it. And then here's another of those uh, uh, postage cards. They're replicas. They're not vintage that I bought from Maddie from Spectrum Art. So that goes like this. No, this goes like this. And then the back. So um, I, this is the last tab that I use. So I made it into a paper clip. I use a small paper clip. And I use a converted that tab. In. So I needed something to hold this down. So that's what I did with it. 
And so this is the other envelope. And in the envelope, there's more um, ephemera from the kit. These are all from the kit, aren't they cute? And then this is a button cart that I created. And I put some, uh, these are Mother of Pearls uh, buttons, and then some of these are the abalone shell buttons. So it's the button cart that I made. Some more ephemera in here, more of those little cards. And I think I'm going to be adding more stuff in there. But And here's the, the back that, you know, you guys saw me do. And then here's the, uh, I put the tag there. So it looks like it's holding the tag as well by making that slit up there. And so that's my um, book page folio. And I hope you guys um, enjoyed this and I hope I've inspired you and um, make one of your own. Remember that if you do use book pages, make sure that they are nice and thick. And even though they're thick, to layer them, you know, glue two together. And then when you add your paper, then it'll just make it a sturdy so yeah give it a try it wasn't that hard you saw me so and you can use any kind of trim and lace that you um you can you know you can bind it with fabric like i did on my uh, prototype you know it's up to you so that's it guys well i hope you you like the end results and let me know what you think on the, on the comments below and um, you have a wonderful week. Okay, God bless. Bye.